Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Two weeks ago, basically dropped into the golf media that Titleist had come up with a, a new golf ball, or well, not a new golf ball, a new adjustment to their Pro V1 golf ball um, that influences our space a little bit. The Absolutely. new Titleist RCT. I think anyone that's spent time with TrackMan indoors, and there's a, a lot of facilities you can go use it, um, play golf on it, practice on it. I did quite a bit at, at my club over last winter as well. Um, I think most people are familiar that occasionally with certain clubs you'll miss spin readings. Yep. Um, and that's probably been the one limitation you'd agree with that system for the most part for most people that go, okay, I'd love it if those numbers were a little bit more accurate. Yeah. Um, and then this came along which seems really interesting and it claims to be basically near 100% accurate on the spin. Yeah, yeah, 99% um, accuracy now on, on the spin rate readings. Uh, early editions of TrackMan software, um, the TrackMan tile came up yellow uh, okay. when it was an estimate and white when it was a, a measured uh, sort of reading. Then they changed it to italicized. So the spin rate would often be italicized. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, that, that affects multiple other numbers along the way, the peak height, the distance, the curvature, really? all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, so like you say, it was always an, an issue in limited flight scenarios like like us in, right. in any other sort of seasonal business um so this really is a huge step forward um for i'm going to call it the golf industry yeah um, for sure you know, and that's where really where we're coming at from this you know we are a foresight facility we've trusted foresight since we opened the doors pretty much here actually year one we had a track man <laughs> um, but year two and onwards uh, we've had foresight technology but this is this is a lot bigger than txg this is this is all the facilities uh, across across the world across indoors the world. that yep. use TrackMan are going to be significantly improved now based on on this new technology. And ultimately, the person going to get fit or practicing and working on their game, they're the ones that are going to benefit the most because they're getting, you know, way more accurate spin numbers than they would have been previously. Or yep. at least the sessions don't require the sort of oh hit another one that it estimated that one oh hit another one. You're just pretty much guaranteed getting the right data every time. It Definitely. would make your fit way more accurate. So it will be interesting to see if who retains the, the IP to this mm. technology. Is this a Titleist thing? You know, is it going to be a TrackMan Titleist thing? Is it going to be something that other companies can license True. Uh, in order to get their golf balls in the conversation? The golf ball is not going to be cheap if you want to buy it. It's going to be an $85 a dozen um, you know, price point. Right. Very expensive. Very expensive. So what we've got here today is uh, we've got TrackMan set up on its, its kind of virtual mode. Uh, we actually have Foresight running behind that. It's the dream team. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> we're going to run with both of them today and, and actually just look at how uh, the numbers sort of coexist. Nice, Matty boy. Okay, it's 53.7 carry, uh, 7,500. 7600 and yeah 54 pretty good really good yeah seven treble six launched 33.6 52 uh 54 so a little bit a little bit longer with foresight and 77 33 six so pretty close on the spin, but yeah, just but yeah. just it showed it going a little bit further on foresight. Was it ball speed? Might have been ball speed, Matty. You would imagine fifty three. So, yes. Yeah. So it yep. it gave us more slightly ball speed more on ball that. speed. Okay. A little spinnier one. Yeah, little eight thousand there. Thirty two point seven. Eight thousand thirty two point nine. Wow. Um, I mean, we're talking, you know, you could put two quads together here and, and you wouldn't get this tight of uh, This is great, yeah. Reading, yeah, really, really good. Is really, that ever really good? good? Now, what's, what's interesting, we're, we aren't getting any club delivery data. Uh, uh, with the track at the low speed. It, yeah, so we'll yeah. see once we start hitting some longer shots if we do, but... Yep, probably grooving a bit low, be a little short. Yeah, 135.5, 9022.3, 23, yeah. 
Um, ball speed 108 versus ball speed at 106.4. That one, 38, spinning at 87, 87, 87. Hmm. yeah, so quad seems to be a, a little touch longer. On ball speed. On ball speed, Interesting. Yep. Probably the best of the three, a hit. 140, just over 9,000, Matty. We're at one, yeah, so it seems to be about two and a half yards. Trackman appears to be showing, think it looks like ball speed more than anything else, Matty. I agree, yeah, so 110 there and 108.6 yeah, on Trackman, yeah. or 1.8. Yeah, yep. that would be enough, right, a, a mm -hmm. mile an hour of ball speed. Um, club delivery, what we're seeing, yep, showing you more into out with foresight. We've seen that in the past. Um, you know, a little bit from the inside. Uh, obviously, negative is a left-handed into-out number uh, with Trackman. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a discrepancy on that. Yep, that's what it felt like. A little hot, pulled seven iron. <clears throat> Interesting. One ninety-one point eight. I'll be curious to see. Yeah, 191. Huh. Um, very close. 134 ball speed versus 132.7. So a little bit tighter here. Tighter for sure. Uh, club head speed 94 versus club head speed 95. Five. So efficiency actually is exactly the same. Interesting. Uh, into out 3.5 and into out 1.2. And peak height was almost identical. Yeah, too. yeah. So pretty, pretty darn good here when it's uh, in the mid iron. Nice, really nice. Touch a, a little cut bit more to like a one. normal. It's a yep. normal seven iron there. Little bit out to in with the, the path. You'd be you'd be you'd be loving those numbers if you were practicing at the club, wouldn't you? Four down, touch out to in. Face square. Yeah, it'd be really ecstatic. good. Yep. Sixteen launch, six thousand spin matty, one eleven and one eight five. Mm. And you are one thirteen and one eight six. Six thousand spin and six thousand spin. Really cool. A little bit on short shape there, actually, just catching that. Oh, yeah. Little so draw versus little that fade. That's, that's an interesting one. Yeah, so launch direction, one degree to the right, Matty. Spin axis, yeah, 3.9 uh, in, the, in the draw spin axis for you. Interesting. Yeah. Whereas we're seeing all those you know, quite similar numbers, short shape-wise, we're seeing a little bit of a discrepancy. Interesting. Yeah, because yeah. that's basically just a, a straight-ish ball. That hey, a couple more. Just want to see if maybe that's the first time we've caught that, but it's actually been happening more often. Okay. Yeah, that's what that felt like. Okay. A little bit, of, little bit of a draw. A little bit of a draw. And a little bit of a draw. Huh. Pretty close. 5.3 to the right versus... 6.2 to the right. Okay, that's pretty yeah, pretty quite, close. Quite similar. In the act of fairness, mm. we've talked about Trackman's limitations and, and kind of what has been held against it uh, in its indoor environment. We can also talk to Foresight. And yeah. you know, some people have uh, expressed their feelings that, that drives go a little bit longer than they actually I've do. I've heard that for sure. Um, the low so spin kind of drives. Yeah, yep. it over, sort of overestimates the, the carry distance. This will be quite good to yeah. see, uh, see how how kind of that um, compares as well. A little bit level. of a low heel fade is what that felt like. Okay, so this is great. So that will, uh, okay. Ah. Okay, so our first italicized spin axis was italicized there. Interesting. 171.9 ball speed, 3,300 and spin, 3,300 and spin. Okay, carry distance 181 versus 181. Oh, they were spot on. Okay, but we saw the heel strike, yeah. as you called it early on, the heel strike that cut, as we know it does with the gear effect. Yeah. Trackman had it hooking. Um, Interesting. Yeah, so the face closure um, was, was seen as face angle and not impact. 
That's really interesting. I mean, I've hit so many balls in here and outside to know that that strike, I know exactly what it would feel like. Yeah. The foresight tracer, I thought, yeah, that looks about right. Mm -hmm. And then that one, that looks to me like a bit of a pull draw, and yeah. you would have to strike a very different part of the club for that. Definitely. Okay. Yep, that's pretty much what that felt like. Started a bit left and came back. Okay. Spin rate was up 32. I think I'm starting to get more spin on my driver. Yeah, so look at that. Is that the yeah. same number? Yeah. 32.89 on both. 32.89 versus 32.60. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. impressive. Um, shot shape wise, um, we've seen a. Yeah, it was a lovely straight one with this and a little bit of a draw with the uh, Trackman. We can probably guess again that it was a touch in the heel. Yeah, because of the spin. Because um, the spin. Um, Fair enough. 288 carry versus. 289 carry. Better oh, strike mashed. anyway. 176 ball. <clears throat> yeah, bit lower spin. Bit more ball speed on. Yeah, wow. Quad. A little bit, yeah. 17, what does it say? 176 versus 177. Yeah. So really close. Pretty damn close. Uh, 152 peak height versus 144 peak height. So, yeah, and this driver's time very flying similar. nice and high. Yeah. I, I'm actually, I'm. I didn't want to say it on camera because I hate jinxing it, but I think I need to lock my driver down. That's great. Isn't that crazy? I know. Yeah. Um, club delivery, two degrees up, three degrees into out. Uh, four degrees up, 3.2 into out. Little bit of a difference there. Right, so. We see that normally, yeah. You've said that to me. Mm -hmm. So usually you'll be a little bit more up on quad versus. Two degrees. Two degrees. Yep, so that's spot on. I'm shocked how similar that drive was. Good, the spin numbers it? are unbelievable. Like they're literally almost the same. This has been a great little test. I'm so pleased we've done mm. this. It really is, I think, answer a lot of questions that people have got about launch monitors out there, the differences between the two. Definitely. They're both really high quality. We've answered some of the questions about TrackMan and, and kind of its limitations and how much they've improved with RCT. We're going to talk a little bit about the, the low spin turbo boosted yes. drive. Um, we're going to build you a driver. We've built you a TSI 4. Some people have accused TrackMan of on the low, real low spinners. Foresight. If, sorry, foresight of being a little bit um, maybe over eager in its distance uh, that's, that claims that the ball's going. So we're going to hit those side by side as well. Yeah, and just see which both of them see come what up that with. is like. Um, see Try to get a spin rate are. below 2,000 or something. Yeah, I mean, I think this is yours is a 10 degree TSI 3. This is a 9 degree turn down TSI, TSI 4. 4. So I'll be lucky to get the thing in the air. <laughs> this should be tough. Yeah. <laughs> 1800? Yeah, I mean, that's so good. Are you now a low spin driver? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This happened here. <laughs> okay, there Holy you go. moly, right there it is. That's, 1776. You can get a better example than that. 171, 1776. 326 carry. Yes. Interesting. Yep, yep. So there is a little bit of a difference. That's, that is substantial. I didn't expect to see that much. <clears throat> Was so the ball speed close too? ball speed, 175. So when that spin is dropping, yeah, definitely there's huh. the balls traveling a little bit further. Okay, let's try it again. I didn't expect to see that, did you? I did not. That should be really good. Should be pretty low spin. I mean, how high is that for a TSI 4 for you? I can't, I can't believe it's in the air. I'm in shock. <clears throat> that was a goodie. 318. Okay. Closer. 310. Closer. But eight yards is still. It's not nothing. You know, yeah, it's still kind of just two. Po Again, it's under 3% difference. Yep. Okay, turned it a little bit. 179 on track, man. It's going to be probably 181, 182. 1600. So that's one there, isn't it? We know what that's going to carry. 179 ball speed. 11 launch, 1600 spin over in quad is going to carry probably 320. Good guess. Uh, where are we there? 317. It was very close, just a bit more launch and almost the same spin again. Yep. 2200 spinner. <laughs> 2200 spinner. Definitely went to the left side, I know that. <clears throat> yeah, so there, there's still... I mean, and I just think this, this again, really uh, hammers our point home about each, each machine has its own limitations. Definitely. 
that's the reality of it. You know, it's, it's which one do you want to show? For me personally, and I'll be absolutely open about this, you know, this was the key for me when choosing uh, Foresight and, and GC Quad over Trackman was the, the correct representation mm. of a mishit shot with a wood. With the correct ball flight that yes. would have come out of that heel strike. A low heel yeah. uh, shot that's, that's cutting. Yes, we all know that that's what would happen. Here we've got a bit of a draw. You know, it's not as likely to be that case. Now, did it give an extra 9, 10 yards to me on uh, GC Quad? It certainly seems that way based on Trackman's way of calculating it. Yeah, and, and I, you know, I don't know what you find, Matty, but I mean, you know, 308 carry outside versus 317. I mean, 317 is a big carry. It's uh, enormous. You know, yeah. Enormous. So, yeah, I would probably say that sometimes mad carry distance is my driver inside on uh, quad. I don't maybe realize all of that outside when I get out on the course. Yeah, fair um, enough. So there's maybe a bit of that in it as well. And I think it's good to see that it's not in very many situations. When they were both spinning 26, 27, those so yardages almost, were spot on. They were so close. But as soon as you got to like 2,000, yeah. 1,800, 1,700, sure, it looks like um, we got more out of foresight. Yeah. And that's just something to keep in mind. So touching on some of those points again, guys, um, you know, GC Quad reads the face angle. Trackman reads the center of the mass. Mm. Those are separated obviously by you know a couple of inches. Um, so when it's reading angle of attack, you know, if we can sort of you know use use a little prop here, um, right? So here's our here's our driver face, here's our driver back, club is coming in, right? The face is has got to low point, it's now at zero angle of attack. In the middle of the driver still moving downwards as this got to low point. Now this is moving up. The middle just got to low point, zero angle of attack, and this is moving up. There's about a two degree difference in that. So because of the measuring points on both, uh, both drivers, mm. um, that's why we see discrepancies on, on some of the delivery numbers. You know, guys, this is, this is for TrackMan users, this is for TrackMan uh, instructors, fitters, whoever's out there using either one of these technologies hopefully can take a little bit of something away from this video that there's an answer to why maybe, you know, people report seeing this on, on Foresight, report seeing that on TrackMan. That's the aim of what we're trying to yeah. get to here. Absolutely. Um, you know, RCT golf ball, very effective. I mean, that was as good as I've ever seen a TrackMan session. Tremendous, Spot isn't on it? What, what an addition. Um, you know, to the industry. Uh, it really anyone. is. It's gonna, as I said at the beginning, I think it's going to benefit just everyone, including yeah. the end user. No, well done. Uh, well done to Trackman. Well done to Titleist. Um, you know, both systems are, are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, you know, you guys are a little bit more informed now uh, about why you see certain things with both. Definitely. Good stuff. Okay, uh, guys, we enjoyed that one. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what the the uh, follow up is in this. What, you, what more do you guys want to know? I mean, we have access to a TrackMan. Um, if there's more information you guys want us to extract from it, how it might compare to Quad, or vice versa, if you want, you know, more information on Quad and how it compares to your TrackMan, we're happy to dive into that. We, you know, we to, enjoy yeah. these ones. It was really fun to do this. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, stay tuned for that. We'll see you again soon.